Fox and Flower. Ready? 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 Finish him. This week's video quiz. Greg, who has been tearing up Math by Five's weekly math questions, brought up an important point last week. Is it worth it for Michelle Davis to illegally park at the stadium? Let's use his numbers because they're reasonable in this week's math question. Let's assume citations are $35 for being illegally parked. She has good comprehensive insurance and her deductible for vandalism is $100 and parking at the stadium is $10. Is it worth it for her to risk illegally parking? Compute the expected value of the system and determine if she illegally parked or bite the bullet and pay for parking. Also assume if she parks illegally that no vandalism is going to occur. Let's remember that. Michelle Davis wants to park her car and she knows of an area of free but illegal parking near North Billet High School Sports Arena in Kentucky. The probability that her car parked in this area will be ticketed by police is 0.35 and the car being vandalized is 0.15 and it will be ticketed and vandalized is 0.10. Let's compute the expected value of Michelle's, Michelle Davis's voyage and compare it with buying a $10 parking permit and determine if it's worth it. So let's actually find this expected value. Let's see what she should expect to pay in the long run. So, in order to do that, we look at the expected value of a probability distribution. That's the sum of x times p of x. What comes next? We need to get the probabilities of these events. And we can get the probabilities of these events by looking at the Venn diagram from last time in order to get the probabilities we need to break these up into disjoint events and we can look at that venn diagram man this is the tickets this is the vandalism all right so since the probability of both of them occurring is 10 percent and the probability of a ticket is 35%. That means this over here is 25%. This is the probability of ticket and not vandalism. So then we look at the probability of vandalism and not ticket. That's 0 0.05, low crime rate. Wait, so if I was looking at the complement of these events, there's a 60% chance that she gets off scot-free. Oh boy. Now that we've taken a look at those disjoint events, we can go and we can list these probabilities. So the probability of vandalism alone is 0 0.05, or 5% of the time her car will only get vandalized. Ticketed <coughs> is 25% of the time. Ticketed and vandalizing, that overlap that we needed to subtract off of those guys, that's point one oh. So she gets away with it 60% of the time. That was a tricky part, I know. The non-tricky part is how much does it cost when she gets vandalized? She has comprehensive insurance, so her deductible is $100, and that's how much it's gonna cost her. So if she gets a ticket, tickets are $35. That's a reasonable estimate for a ticket and ticketed and vandalizing is going to be the sum of these two because she's going to have to fix her car and pay the fine. Fine. But if she gets away scot-free, which happens 60% of the time, she's not going to have to pay anything. So, is it worth it? If it's worth it, then... Um, still don't do it. It's illegal. Anyways, what are we going to do? Sum of x, p of x. This one times that one plus. This one times that one plus. This one times that one plus. This one times that one and. We go and we do that. So we're taking $100 comprehensive hit 5% of the time and we're gonna add it to a $35 fine. That's gonna happen 25% of the time and we're gonna add it to $135, ouch, which is gonna happen 10% of the time, and then we're gonna add it to getting away free, which is a big fat zero 60% of the time. Can, 
Yeah, you're good. So now we pound all that out and we find that over the long run, if she consists in this behavior, then she can expect to pay $27.25 every time she does it. Not sure she could get away with it a couple of times and then get hit with a big fine. Whoa, one of these, one of these, or oh God, hope not that bad day. Anyway, if it's $10 for parking, what should she do over the long run? Park. Because, ah, don't risk it, Michelle. Don't risk it.